today on Honda Hesse. I'm making a video response for uh, Eric the Car Guy's well, video on how a clutch works. I'd just like to add something. To that. This center piece right here is a piece in itself that is, you can see in there, it's a singular piece. And the contact point from here to here is the springs. Um, the disc and this right here is a singular piece and then this piece and this piece connect by the springs. And what I've done here, right here is uh, I've hooked this plate up here to show y'all how it works. Uh, I hooked it up in the vise right there at that point and got it tightened up in here. Make sure it's tight. And here, come up. I'm looking from the top up here. As you watch the springs I'm, as I'm about to spin, here, come up. Look at that. Up a little bit higher so you can see my hand. You got it. Yeah. If you watch the springs, you'll see they they compress there as I'm turning both things right there. So that's how it works, and I'll show you a picture here also, uh, so you can see it a little bit better. All right, and right here I got my little setup. I'm gonna show you a little bit more in depth of how this works. Um, first of all. This is the clutch disc, and I'm trying to uh, give you a good explanation of how this works. Basically, you got this piece right here. This is your center piece, the spline, where the input shaft is. In. And on the picture, that is this piece right here. And if you can just imagine a uh, clutch disc as being three individual parts, so to say, and you got the middle part the actual disc <coughs> and the springs then it's a lot easier what if you could just imagine that this center piece right here going inside the outer part and these little notches right here and that may not be 100% accurate it may actually be a complete spot for the spring but if you could just imagine that inside of there <coughs> and um the center piece actually grabbing on the springs which will go inside here. What are you making a YouTube video? Yeah. And um yeah. then you can see how when the input shaft will try and turn the center piece, it's gonna be compressing these springs right here. Uh, so that shows how it's not actually these two center pieces. Or I mean the two little disc right there kind of moving independently. So it goes from a your little energy mouth. path illustration, B, I guess I'm I can call it. Um, and I got energy, which is going to come right from the engine. It's going to get from the engine to the flywheel, which is spinning, which is going to grab the clutch disc uh, in between the clutches and the, the clutch pr pressure plate. And that's going to go to the input shaft, which will go from your tranny to the axles and uh, maybe you have a differential and all the other stuff, which will essentially hook up to your wheels. So, that's how all that works. Now, I also made a little drawing for the pressure plate and how that, plate and how that works too. A little, the diaphragm spring over here too, to help me with that. And uh, what I got here is the, these are little forks, and that is your throwout bearing. I got one of those new guys no, here. And this is the actual, the plate um, that you see when you're looking at the pressure plate. And this is just like the, the pressure plate housing, or, um, the case or whatever. So basically, if you could just imagine these little diaphragm springs here and the plate being one piece. And if you could imagine a seesaw, well, <coughs> the seesaw, you have a person sit down and the seesaw goes down and vice versa. And then with your pressure plate, you have I got a seesaw, and that's your pressure plate. This is the diaphragm spring right here. So, and if you can imagine the throwout bearing is another person sitting down on the seesaw, then the other person who's sitting down on the seesaw would be the actual pressure plate. And when the throwout bearing pushes down <coughs> on the seesaw, it lifts the plate up and disengages the clutch uh, from the engine, essentially. And the pivot point for the diaphragm spring is the pressure plate case. Um, 
or housing, whatever you want to call it. So that is how <coughs> the transmission actually engages and disengages the clutch. That's all for today. Thanks for watching Honda Hats.